the hand lens is an essential tool for a botanist. And the three most important things are always use it outdoors, um, look up towards the light, and bring the hand lens to your eye and the object to the lens. I'll go through those three things in a bit more detail. So outdoors, you get a lot more light than indoors. People don't realize how dark it is indoors because our eyes adjust to it, but it's never as bright indoors as it is out. So if you collect plants and want to look at them later, best to do that in the garden rather than inside. You'll be able to see them much more easily. Uh, the second thing is always look up towards the light. You want the light to shine on your object as much as possible to make it easier for you. So pick the brightest part of the sky and look up. Now by default, most people tend to crouch over uh, when, they're, when they're first looking at plants. So they might bend their head or even bend over more than that. And then you cast shade on the object and it's not so easy to see the features. So look up towards the light. And the third thing is, uh, bring the hand lens right up to your eye and then bring the object to the lens. And then once your hand is by your eye with the lens, it should never move. So it shouldn't move like that. You bring the object up and move the object until it's in focus. When people start off using a hand lens, most people find this really awkward but it's very worthwhile to persevere with this because you get a much better view by doing it this way. So very often people will hold the object still and move the lens up and down to, until it's in focus, but you see very much less of the um, object when you do it that way. So bring the object up to your eye, leave it there, and then bring the object up to it. Now, when you've got a clear view of the thing you're looking at, you will see a lot of detail in, in through the lens. And most of that detail will be irrelevant to what you want to assess. So you might want to focus in on the stamen, say, or look at particular types of hairs or whatever. And if you just see the whole thing, that can be a bit bewildering. It can be difficult to pick out the feature you're looking at. So again, you have to consciously tell yourself to focus in on the particular feature that you're interested in looking at you kind of have to train yourself to do that. So looking at the whole picture first and then consciously just observing the feature you want to look at. There are a few other kind of more minor tips. Very often when you're looking at a feature, you might not be able to see it clearly the first time. So here's a few things you can do. You could twist the object around to look at it from different angles, or maybe move your head even towards different types of light and you might be able to see it clearly that way. Uh, you might just discard this object and pick up another example and maybe look at several to see if you can see the feature more clearly on, on, on another one. And the last thing is really to make sure you get a good lens. If you're struggling to see things all of the time with the lens, it probably means that your lens isn't very good. So it's best to uh, chuck that in the bin and buy a better one. So th those are the main tips I have for using a hand lens. And the main three points again are always do it outdoors, look up towards the light, and thirdly, bring the lens up to your eye and the object to the lens. And that's it.